We have a small colony at the moment of seven animals. We're just waiting for them to start breeding so they get a lot larger. In the wild, they can get up to 295 individuals, but they only have one queen that does all the breeding. Um, you can have a couple of males, but only one queen, and she's in charge. The way we keep them is to mimic the natural system as much as we can. We keep them in tubes so they can feel the size against them all the time. Obviously we can't give them lots of earth, otherwise they'd just dig in it, we wouldn't be able to see them, we wouldn't be able to tell if they're healthy or not. They actually work as a team and if there's a blockage in the tunnel system, you'll see one of the smaller animals will kick the sand back, then another one will kick it back a bit further and they'll go all the way until you can have all seven animals kicking the soil out and making the tunnel system clean again. Because they're blind, they make up for it in other ways. They're very, very sensitive to vibrations and sounds, which is why people have to be quiet when they're going past the mole rat exhibit. The um, exhibit above them has got some African field crickets, which would naturally be found where they live. And we also have a radio playing in the room just to dull out background noise, just to make it a bit more, a bit more white noise for them. They have a very strong caste system. The lower caste animals have to go underneath the upper caste animals, so the queen will always go on top of all the other ones, which is one of the ways of telling her apart. If you get two that are about the same level, meet in a tunnel, what may happen is they'll try and push past each other, neither one in to let the other one go. And it's really funny if one comes up behind another one because they'll sort of take each other by surprise and they'll start pushing against each other, just trying to squeeze the other one out.